<laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here and back yet again. Serve up yet another news video. Today, we're going to be talking about some, we'll say, brand new-ish, and we'll say that lightly, with DC Multiverse over on the McFarlane end of things. We'll just jump right into it. As always, if you're interested, these will be part of the Walmart Collector Con. I'll put links down in the description below. Thanks for using my links. Yada, yada. We'll just, uh, it'll be a quick news video because uh, something tells me you've seen these before. Kind of, sort of. So, you know all that uh, rock steady, really cool looking black and white artwork that they did for Arkham City? They had little touches, maybe some blood on Batman's fist, or they colored in Catwoman's goggles. Well, that's kind of the route that McFarlane's going to take with a, it's an odd end re-release of the Solomon Grundy wave. So you can see it does have some splotches of color. For instance, it looks like the Grundy will have some blue to him, some electric blue to really kind of make it pop. Rest assured, these are the exact same figures now in a black and white motif. I'm gonna tell you honestly, this is not my thing. The regular wave, I liked parts and pieces of it. I think I actually liked Grundy the best. This doesn't go with anything. I could see a lot of a lot of video game enthusiasts, especially for the Arkham City, Arkham Knight universe, right? This might be right up your alley. Or maybe you've held off getting the Solomon Grundy collect build wave, so that might be more in your style. I do like the splotches of color. I think that that's cool. Batman's got it. some blood on his face and a little bit of blood on his hands. So... That's nice. There's little touches here and there, but it, it just doesn't do enough for me. I, I'm good. I'd rather play the video games and such, but I did. If you've seen my video on the entire wave, I did like Catwoman. I like bits and pieces. Rachel Ghoul was cooler than I thought he would be. The Batman is nice with the whited out eyes. So she's cool. If you're interested, you know, she's got the whole goggles thing going on. I do like that aspect. Little touches of color is definitely nice. Now, Going from McFarlane's DC Multiverse to McFarlane's basically DC Direct X DC Multiverse, bringing back something I think is actually pretty cool. I will be getting this. This is the Batman the Animated Series DC Direct DC Collectibles 4-pack featuring a cel-shaded Batman from Batman the Animated Series. So it is bringing back those figures that they did some years past. Kind of, sort of, it's a, a Batman the Adventures Continues repacks with the whole cell shaded look. Kind of, sort of, changed the heads up and whatnot. I never got into those, so I'm going to start with these, right? I, I really like these. I kind of lament not getting those when I have. The Joker is in this pack, too. I like that he is the redone Joker. He's got the more animated face to him they really went to town this is a a cool look for the joker so i definitely like it and uh, yeah, it's a really sinister mark hamill looking face right there right i like all the they actually i like the cell shading that they do on these figures we'll just say legends yeah still gotta catch up to you know especially NECA's cartoon line harley quinn is in this wave as well so you're starting to go okay Hey, uh, we got Harley Quinn, we got Joker, we got Batman. Who's going to be the fourth figure, of course? And, uh, you know, Harley Quinn, her face is just okay. I'm not too stoked on that. But again, I do like the cell shaded nature. But uh, you're kind of thinking, okay, all three characters, who could be the fourth one? If you went the Laughing Fish route, that was a great episode. Gorgeously animated, too, by the way, especially that rooftop ending scene. Well, if you missed him the first go around, which I think a lot of people did, it's Harvey Bullock, Detective Harvey Bullock, and he's got some cell shade in action to go along with the rest of the figures. So, very cool. It is the Batman the Animated Series styled Detective Harvey Bullock, which is nice. Thank God that all fits together. It's actually a really nice box set. I got to give it to him. Like that's a a nice nod and everything looks like Batman the Animated Series, you know what I mean? Lots of weapons, lots of accessories, donuts, handcuffs, hands for Harvey Bullock. You've got the little Joker baton from one of those uh, Batman the Animated Series episodes. She launches it at the Joker when he's trying to drop an atomic bomb. Extra hands for Harley Quinn. You do get a laughing fish for Joker in extra hands, so that's cool. If only he had a wrench that we could make the joke, right? Or a fishing line or that tackle and hat. Remember, that was kind of cool. And Batman has battering hands and a grapnel. So again... Lots of accessories, very cool looking figures, great packaging right there, very cool. Pack four, Batman, Harvey Bullock, Joker, 
Harley Quinn, of course, the famous Batman, the animated series logo. This set, it's a little pricey, especially for, you know, reissues kind of thing. You know, 100 bucks, it's going to set you back. Basically, it's 25 a figure. The, of course, Arkham City line, Solomon Grundy, that's going to be 25 each. So, again, if you're interested, I will have links down in the description below. But for me personally, totally passing on Solomon Grundy. I'm good. Been there, done that. I uh, will be taking the animated set home. I'm really into that. That's actually pretty cool. So that will do it. Really quick news. Again, Batman animated series, the way we can all agree, the way you should do animated series. Gorgeous line. Happy to get into it now. And I'm curious to know your thoughts, right, at this point. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk hey, everything DC Multiverse. I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, have a fantastic weekend. In case I don't talk with you, be safe, do something fun, and tell me all about it next week. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.